briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2008 case, Gambrel v. Nivens, the Tennessee Court of Appeals, ruled that property owners cannot ignore agreements or restrictions they knew about when purchasing a property, even if they were not originally party to those agreements. The case centered around a dispute over whether certain restrictions on the use of land were enforceable on remote grantees. The Gambrels subdivided their property in Fayette County in 1991, selling three lots and retaining one for themselves. The following year, they sold another lot to Mr. Frank Foschi. The deed for that lot did not properly incorporate restrictions on land use, but an attached, unsigned document specified that the land could only be used for residential purposes and not mobile, modular, or prefab homes. It also stated the restrictions would run with the land for 30 years. A dispute arose over whether these restrictions applied to remote grantees and if the restrictions were correctly incorporated into the deed. Although the court found that the restrictions were not properly incorporated, it ruled that remote grantees still had actual notice of the agreements and could not ignore them. The trial court then permanently prohibited the remote grantees from operating a wedding chapel as a commercial activity on the land. The Court of Appeals upheld this decision, ordering further proceedings and ruling in favor of the Gambrels. The court dismissed the Nivens' claims on the validity of the covenants and ruled that improper incorporation did not negate their enforceability. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.